The overall goal is to improve the energy use efficiency in plants. Understand how we can work to make that conversion and capture process more efficient. And this is obviously very, very important for us at the moment with the increasing world population to improve the yield of all the major crop plants. Hi, I'm Helen Bartel. I'm Daniel. My name is Elke Ströer. I'm working at the AAC Center of Excellence in Plant Energy Biology. What is plant energy? Well, that's a good question. Plant energy is everything from acquiring energy, which plants mostly get from sunlight, to what they do with this energy. And this can be things such as general growth, finding off stresses such as salt in the soil, nutrient acquisition through their roots from the soil, and going towards the general yield, which we see in things like crops as the grain, the barley, the wheat. The plant takes up energy from the sun and converts it together with carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and water to more useful forms for the plant. And these are then used to grow and produce biomass and produce yield. That's obviously what we're most interested in, particularly for all sorts of different crops. Very important that we find ways to improve yield. So what's the theme and the goal of the Center for Excellence in Plant Energy Biology? We focus on plant energy, understanding the process of how plants take light energy and synthesize that through photosynthesis. And so the goal of the center then is to understand how we can work to make that conversion and capture process more efficient. Everything from trying to increase energy acquisition to decreasing the amount of energy used, increasing the energy that goes towards the yield of plants. And this is obviously very, very important for us at the moment with the increasing world population to improve the yield. So I'm part of program one which is all about understanding cellular functions. I'm all about analyzing proteins and metabolites, which are important components of those cellular pathways, and then find a good combination of those to end up with a plant that can use energy better. I'm part of program two. This is looking at gatekeeper cells. These are the cells that use the most energy in plants and mostly for general maintenance. And we want to see if we can reduce the amount of energy used by these gatekeeper cells and therefore increase the amount that goes to yield. Now I'm looking at a salt transporter myself. That single protein is a salt transporter. But the thing that makes it most interesting is it doesn't do what a normal salt transporter does. It's really a puzzle as to what it does. Program three is mainly focused on understanding the underlying genetic networks that are driving plant energy biology. So I am mainly focused on wild populations of native eucalyptus in Australia, focusing on understanding how we can identify more drought adapted genotypes and then using that to inform conservation management. The best part of being involved in the Center of Excellence is being among such a big group of researchers who are all working towards the same goal. If you need advice, there's always a person you can ask on advice for either technology or advice to interpret um, new data. And I also have to say that over the years, um, a lot of those colleagues have become friends. There's a lot of support. There's a, a huge network to help you. The ability of the nodes to get together. I mean, it's almost like a mini conference. You get to meet heaps of people, you get to see lots of research. It's just been incredible getting to work with scientists from all over the world. I think there's so much more that we are able to accomplish by working collaboratively than any of us could do on our own. What fascinates me about plants, I found plants really interesting, more at a cellular level than anything else. They're just, some of the things they do are insane. The amount of pressure inside a single cell is crazy. No cell should be able to withstand that. I find it fascinating how very small modifications on different levels, either genes, proteins, or the functions of the proteins can make a plant look so very different. I think it's absolutely fascinating that plants are able to communicate with each other through you know, volatile chemicals and you know, networks of fungi underground to be able to warn their neighbors if pests are coming. If I could travel anywhere in the world right now, it would be home. <laughs> probably say Iceland, somewhere I've been before, but it's just amazing there. I probably would go back home to Germany 
to also visit family and friends and see how they're going. Apart from science, I'm passionate about my two daughters. I really like crafting and make gifts for family and friends and baking. I'm actually really into basketball. So much so I'm a statistician for the NBL. Unfortunately, I'm not actually very good at playing basketball though. I love to get out to the natural areas that I study and just enjoy them. I love hiking, camping, yeah, basically just getting out and being reinvigorated by the natural world that inspires me.